Hey, good evening, folks. Uh, this is Richard. Uh, I'm back here on the air again. Uh, if you'll note that uh, my surroundings are a bit different because uh, I'm on business in the uh, Philippines. Um, uh, it's been quite of a, an event going through this little typhoon that we had here. It took me 21 uh, hours to get uh, from Manila down to uh, Angeles City um, where the exercise will be taking place, but it was a 21 hour drive. Uh, pretty a uh, long time in the van and like I said we left uh, at 11 on Saturday uh, 11 in the morning and we got to uh, just before we got to uh, Angela City I was kinda complaining and moaning about my situation being in a van for 21 hours and bumper to bumper traffic and this was about uh, I suppose about 7.30 in the morning or maybe about 6.30 in the morning when uh, the sun had just risen and we could see over to our right where it was completely uh, uh, flooded and then I looked over there and about probably about I say 40 to 50 yards out in this water that was up almost to the roof maybe about three feet shy of the roof there was a uh, Filipino family of I suppose family of about uh, seven people on the roof and three or four small children there and I kind of realized then uh, my situation wasn't too bad but uh, anyway that's not what I'm here to talk about tonight uh, I just recently got turned on to uh, 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 Mark Rubio Marco Rubio who's running who will be running against uh, Charlie Crist or Governor Crist I should say for the uh, uh, Senate seat that uh, uh, Senator Mel Martinez uh, vacated. Uh, after looking through, uh, I already know about Chris. I, I'm not a big lover of him. Uh, he's not a conservative, as far as I'm concerned. But uh, how I got turned on to Marco Rubio is I got a subscription to the National Review, and uh, I read this article about him. A uh, really great article by John uh, J. Miller, and uh, it really tells you all about uh, Marco's uh, history. And uh, even though he is a young individual, he has a a pretty good uh, 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 history in Florida politics already. And uh, he's young. He's got some great ideas. He's uh, did some great things so far for the state of Florida, and uh, and he's conservative, uh, and that's really makes me happy and uh, it it really turns me on to him now if you go to uh, uh, Marco Rubio's website which is at www.marcorubio.com uh, you'll find out everything you need to find about this individual and just a few things uh, you can go to the uh, uh, how he stands on the issues and I'll just go through them real quick uh, he's concerned about our uh, our bloated uh, government and our spending, and he wants to get that stopped under control. He wants a balanced budget. Taxes. He's never voted for a tax increase, uh, so uh, uh, he wants to eliminate things like uh, the death tax. And uh, he's you know we're getting taxed to death by the government, and not only are we being taxed to death, the damn people in Washington are throwing it away. So we want to reduce taxes. Judicial nominations. Uh, Charlie Chris, I don't know what he was thinking when he appointed one of the most liberal uh, judges to the uh, state Supreme Court. I mean, what is that about? Come on. Uh, judicial nominations. Uh, he's a person that believes in uh, uh, interpreting the Constitution and not legislating from the bench. Uh, you didn't that's what we need. We need to get back to that. We've got the, the bench is so politicized now and, and they legislate from that. It's just, it's getting ridiculous. He's a firm believer in the Second Amendment. Uh, I'm going to tell you what, uh, I've, I'm, I have traveled extensively around the world, Southeast Asia, Europe, uh, the Middle East. Uh, I've been all over. And I'm going to tell you what, uh, in Places like uh, England, they've taken away their guns there. They've taken away their guns down in Australia. Uh, I'm going to tell you what, if we're not careful, they're going to come and take our guns away. 
uh, environment. He doesn't believe in this, uh, I don't know, this global warming. I mean, he's all about environmental, uh, concerned about the environment, but, you know, people that, that are jumping on this global warming, uh, cap and trade crap, this is getting ridiculous. He supports uh, alternative energy sources such as nuclear power, uh, drilling in places like, uh, I guess it's uh, Anwar up there in the uh, Arctic, and, uh, and uh, we need to produce more of our own uh, oil as opposed to importing it from the Middle East. Uh, uh, one thing that's, uh, that I'm really, uh, really, really like to see right here, sanctity of life. I don't know how many, I forget what the number of abortions every year uh, that are performed, but uh, that is a scary thought, you know. Uh, it's an act of convenience in most cases. It's an act of a person uh, not wanting to be responsible for their actions. It's just, it, it, it really is, it's an act of murder, that's what it is. But uh, he's pro-life and uh, that's where we need to be at. And then... Uh, also on card check, um, he's against uh, uh, card check, and uh, uh, you know that's all we need is more unions. Um, and the other thing I didn't mention was immigration. Uh, he's against illegal immigration. He's against amnesty, and this is coming from an individual who's the first uh, generation uh, uh, American here. Uh, his parents came from Cuba, so he knows he's all for immigration, and I and all conservatives are too, as long as it's done in a legal manner. You know, fill out the paperwork like everybody does, and come over here legally. You're welcome here. If you want to earn a living, buddy, we want you here. Okay, now that's what America's all about, and that's what it's been all about for over 200 years. So, but uh, this guy's a really up-and-coming star. It's somebody we need uh, uh, a strong conservative uh, as a senator in the state of Florida and who knows uh, what what li uh, lies beyond that. But uh, please, uh, for my sake and for the sake of uh, Florida and, and for the sake of being a conservative, uh, I want you to head to www.marcorubio.com and check this guy out. I think he's legit. I think he's ready to go. It's somebody we need in the Florida uh, or in the uh, U.S. Senate for Florida. This is the type of person we need. So please check out his website. And as always, you have a good day, and I'll see you later on.